This is a video for Science 7, Heat and Temperature, and today we're going to make a thermoscope. So what we have, we have a flask with some diluted rubbing alcohol. We have some food coloring so we can see what's going on. We have some modeling clay, and we have a straw, and that's all you need for it. So first of all, I'm going to add some food coloring to our our liquid here. Just a drop or two will do it. So I give that a swishy swish and we got some nice blue color. Now the way this works is we're going to make a seal around the top with our modeling clay and have our straw down at the bottom. So first thing you want to do is kind of mold your clay around the straw like that. Okay, so it's nice you need it airtight or your thermoscope isn't going to work. The next thing that's really important is to have the straw near the bottom but not at the bottom. It needs to be in the liquid but not touching the bottom. If it's touching the bottom of your flask, the liquid won't be able to move freely up and down and uh, you'll be stuck too. So we put our straw in. It's in the liquid but not touching the bottom and we mold our clay around the top of the flask. Try not to push it in because then it's hard to get out again. So we've made an airtight seal. We've got our straw just slightly up. It shouldn't be touching the bottom. It should be just in there. Give it another squish and then we'll see if it works. So if you put it in something warm, like the heat from your hand, it might be able to make the level of our liquid go up the straw. And that one's not quite working yet. So we'll check to make sure we have an airtight seal. And it might take a few tries, squishing around your straw, make sure no air can get through. And we'll try again. And you can see the level of our liquid is moving up the straw. Why is that? What is the heat doing? Why is it moving? What would happen if you put it in cold water? But now that you've seen uh, how to construct this, um, we can test it out in the classroom. <laughs> 